Hello, my YouTube friends. When I live stream, I use lots of widgets to make my streams more interactive, and I always get questions about how I do them. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do one of the more popular questions on my live stream. How to add a chat to your live stream, like this. This is particularly helpful if you're streaming to multiple platforms, because everyone gets to see the chat on screen, so that if someone's talking on another platform, they still get to see it and understand what you're talking about. And it's pretty easy to do. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. You can do this on a couple of different platforms and I'm gonna show you a couple today. But first, I'm gonna show you how to do it on Stream Elements. So let's jump right in. And when you get into Stream Elements, you wanna go into My Overlays. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go into Create a Blank Overlay. And you wanna make sure that this is set to the resolution of your stream. In my case, it's 1920 by 1080. So I'm gonna select 1080p and start. Then I'm gonna go down here to the left and click add widget. Then I'm gonna to go to stream tools at the bottom and add your stream chat. You can see it brings up this cool black box here. And we have some options over here on the left hand side. Messages fade after 30 seconds. You can adjust that. Or messages are delayed by two seconds. And you can set the delay to whatever you want. I can go into position and size and I can adjust the size of our box. And you can see that it automatically adjusts the size of the box here in the window. And this is the placement anywhere on your screen. So put it over here on the right. You can adjust the rotation if we want to. And we can also change the text settings if we like. And the last thing I want to show you up here in settings is that you can modify the look of it. Dark chat, checker chat, white chat, that sort of thing. And you'll have to play around with these to see which ones you like personally. I'm just fine with dark chat. And once we're finished, we can click save and name out our overlay. I'm just going to call it add chat and click save. Now we can either click this to get the link or we can click preview and we can click the link right out of here. Next, all we need to do is go into OBS and we click the plus button and we're going to go to browser. I'm just gonna call this one chat stream elements and click okay. Now I wanna go ahead and paste that right in here and I'm gonna adjust the width and the height so it's the same as what I already have in my stream. And that makes sure the placement is going to be the same as what we saw on the stream elements screen. And then I'm gonna click refresh cache and you can do this anytime if it doesn't work you can go and click properties and refresh the cache and usually that'll make it work and that is the location where our chat is going to be once we go ahead and start i'm going to move this up and click save and you'll see when i go back into obs it moves itself up so when the chat appears on the screen that's where it's going to appear during our live stream pretty easy stuff now let me show you how to do this on the streamlabs chat widget you can see here i am in streamlabs i'm just going to click all widgets and i'm going to select the chat bot widget now i can go down here here and under theme, I can change the way that my chat is going to look on my screen. And there are a bunch of different options here. I can have active badges for moderators and subscribers so it will show some sort of icon on the screen. I can add extra emotes if we use those with stream elements. I can change font sizes and chat delay. I can hide common chat bots. All of these are options in here. I can mute specific people chatting and I can remove custom bad words or anything like that. I'm just gonna click save settings here. Then all I have to do is scroll back up to the top and just click copy next to this widget URL here and it copies that text into my clipboard I'm gonna turn this one off here the stream elements one and I'm gonna go into browser and I'm gonna call this one stream labs chat and click OK and I'm just going to paste that URL in here that we copied into our clipboard and you can change the height and width if you like but you can just adjust this with the bars on the edges of it move it around anywhere you want now of course I can't really show you what these chats are gonna look like on screen and that's simple simply because you have to be live streaming when you do it. And I can show you examples or you can go and look at my live stream to see what these are going to look like. But if you find that they aren't working, the easiest thing to do is go into properties on any of them and click refresh cache and then they will show up because sometimes occasionally they just don't show up. So that's the easiest way to fix that problem. Which one of these do you like best? Let me know in the comments. And if you wanna learn about the 
best OBS plugins, you should check this video out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.